this is practice prepper. Don't you love mornings like this when there's a, all the fog rolling in and everything? It just it's great for hiking. Uh, the moist air in your lungs and everything. It's beautiful too. Um, this morning I wanted to do just a quick video response to uh, a comment that had been posted on a recent video that I did about why why I love prepping and asking other people why <coughs> why they love prepping. Um, and the response was from um, a commenter that um, is one of my favorite commenters. Um, I think the screen name is like FI1222 or something like that. Um, uh, I think they always leave really great uh, ideas and great responses. And while I don't always see eye to eye with what they're saying, I always really feel that they represent their, uh, their thoughts really well. So I, um, if you're watching this video right now, um, just know I really appreciate that you take so, so much time to... Uh, to share your thoughts um, and uh, uh, and know that I always just very respectfully, um, you know, share my disagreements if, if I don't see eye to eye. I think um, it's it's important to have different ideas kind of uh, bump up against each other and uh, you know just have a dialogue. Uh, I did a video about that recently, about how it's important um, to have all those um, different points of view really um, bumping up against each other to. Uh, uh, to just have a stronger society in general. So, so I appreciate your, your, your comment there. And uh, the, the comment <coughs> uh, was essentially that, uh, and I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, be paraphrasing the comment as well as, uh, as, as the person themselves uh, had expressed it. So I apologize for, for my uh, uh, inability to, in a couple sentences, do what they did in several paragraphs. But the core idea was that there's really just one lens you really need um, to see and understand most of prepping. Um, and that lens is uh, the lens of seeing preppers as sort of um, uh, frightened white guys who would like to um, have an event happen that would allow them to uh, see the parts of the world that they find frightening kind of go away, die, diminish, um, uh, or actively, you know, fight, fight against them in a a, a raw situation. Um, and there's, there was more finesse to their comment than that, and I would encourage you to read it in full. But that uh, that was kind of the the the, uh, the core of it. And it got a little bit into racial issues um, uh, um, about um, you know I, I guess prepping is probably mostly kind of like like a white person thing at the moment. Maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm not take not taking count <laughs> or census or anything, but uh, at least represent on YouTube that, that that's kind of mostly what you see. Although there are there are plenty of people of color that that are into it as well. Um, uh, but I'm not going to get into the racial uh, thing so much, uh, just because I, I don't think that's the, the key core part of it. The, the, the key part that I took out of it is that uh, prepping is primarily a movement based on fear. And um, that's not the way that it feels to me. Um, and I think that uh, even listening to um, me and how I share like the different things that I do, I think it's possible for someone to interpret um, what I'm saying through that kind of fear lens. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel authentic to me, um, uh, hearing that. Now, um, there's all sorts of things that, uh, that people do in their daily lives <coughs> that are kind of uh, similar to sort of prepping. Like, uh, whenever you're getting something done ahead of time that, you know, you may not have to do, but, you, you know, you're just taking care of it, that's kind of like prepping. Um, you know, the feeling you get, like, if you do your taxes way ahead of April 15th. That's kind of like prepping. I mean, there's sort of a 100% chance <laughs> of the April 15th deadline coming up. Um, but getting it taken care of early, I think, for me, is, is very similar to uh, the positive feelings that I get around prepping. Um, uh, the same thing with, like, uh, carrying a lot of firewood into the house and having a bunch of firewood ready to go. Um, I, I suppose there's a chance that I wouldn't use it, but that feeling of security that I've taken care of something, it's done, um, you know, I... I've set it aside and it's all all set. Um, <coughs> I, I, I guess you could say people are, you know, afraid of for not getting their taxes done on time, or they're afraid of having to go out in the middle of a snowstorm and bring firewood into their house. Um, I, I stock extra toilet paper in the bathroom. Uh, you could say I'm I'm afraid of running out of toilet paper, um, but for me that's not what it's about. It's just about enjoying taking care of stuff and having it done and and like I just don't have to worry about it and and worry is kind of a negative sort of fear term 
Um, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like a negative thing to me. I think you could look at almost anything um, that people do uh, through that fear lens. You know, why, did, why is somebody jumping out of airplanes and skydiving? Well, they have a fear that they're going to go through their life and feel like they haven't truly lived it. So they're, they're doing these things out of fear to make sure that they, they feel like they live their lives. Why does someone take up bird watching? I don't know, they have a fear that they'll be bored. <laughs> or they'll miss out on some beautiful bird or something. So I think you can look at anything that people do through that, that sort of fear lens. Um, and, and it might be very descriptive of, of certain people. It might be very descriptive of, of certain people. Um, but that doesn't mean that, that's, that that filter is going to be very predictive of, of all people. And, and I feel like by myself personally, um, looking at prepping through that sort of fear lens um, do, isn't going to accurately predict my behavior um, because I don't feel like that's what's driving me through it. Um, but I think it's a good question to ask. Uh, and I think that looking at things and trying to see, un, understand the underlying causes is, is important. And I think it's great that people are doing that. And I think uh, FI1222, I'm sorry if that's not exactly your screen name. And I thank you for raising the point because I think it's a good one to raise. Um, but I, I, uh, I feel that most people have subtle differences between them. And, uh, and trying to paint everyone with the same brush, uh, while if much of the time, you know, it might be 90% accurate, um, unless you uh, recognize that you're going to be 10% inaccurate some of the time, um, you know, it's going to lead you to make, uh, you know, mistakes in judgment about people. Um, and th that's not just a, a negative thing, like, you know, it's, it's mean to that person to, like, you know, accuse them of something. Uh, it's going to make uh, you personally uh, make uh, not the best decisions that you could in terms of like trying to predict the way somebody else is going to act. If you're uh, figuring that someone is acting through a fear lens and they're not, then you're going to make uh, guesses ab uh, about what you think they're going to do in different circumstances um, and those guesses aren't going to always pan out. Um, so I think it's good to have hypotheses. Uh, I think it's good not a 90% accurate hypothesis is, is a good one, especially when it's trying to describe human behavior. But I, I think it's also important to, uh, to recognize that not everybody's cut from the same mold, not everybody has the same background and upbringing, and, uh, and that brings people to do things for, uh, for different reasons that might not make uh, total sense to somebody, um, but uh, if that person is willing to sort of open their mind to other ways of looking at uh, the world, then... Um, then they have an opportunity to, you know, broaden their hypothesis and uh, maybe improve it and make it better. So thank you, uh, FI1222. I hope that's your actual screen name. <laughs> um, thank you for raising the, the, the question. I think it's a good one. What, what, do, what does everyone else think about this? Do, do you feel that um, uh, saying that, you know, all prepping is essentially growing out of fear, uh, is that a good hypothesis to go from? Is that going to be uh, accurate enough? Is it going to be completely accurate? Uh, do you think that I'm just blowing smoke saying that I'm not operating out of fear? Um, <coughs> uh, what are your thoughts on it? Because I think it's a really important question. I'm glad that it was raised. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.